Okay, the wildly wonderful workbook is basically done. And I need to get to... Alright, here we go. Make this a full screen. I think this is working. Yeah, it's dedicated to Vernon. Uh, let's see here. So, the first one, obviously one. And we had some foolish person trying to say one times one is two. One times one is clearly one. And notice you have multiple choices here. Uh, one squared, one. Um, hmm, that's not a ten. One unit. Huh, there seems to be many answers. Uh, look, there's two of them now. Two. Uh, well, it can't be one because there's two of them. Three. Well, that's right out. Uh, three shall be the number. Uh, it can't be one. Uh, and, oh, and two. Uh, how about that one? Oh, look, now you can choose. Uh, yep, that, that's the same as a three. 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 So you have multiple answers. Uh, let's see here. Uh, here is four. Let's see, there's two answers there. The idea is for you to talk with your children, uh, your son or daughter, um, and look these over. All right, so now here, two and two, same as four. Four, could be four. Uh, how about that one? Okay. And they're gonna get um, progressively more difficult as we go. Uh, so there's five, and huh, that's uh, four, but it's four and one more, so those would be answers if it was to get, but nope, so there's five. Uh, let's see here. Um, you can see there's a right answer. There's a right answer. Mm, there are not right answers. How about that one? There are, there's an answer, and there's an answer. I think you can see pretty clearly um, that a little child could have a fun time. Now here is you could have a conversation. Um, that's not four squared. It's uh, four times two, technically. There are two fours. And you have eight, eight, ooh, but it's not the same as that one, is it? And now look, here is an answer for that one, but it's in the wrong box. So, see, so we're trying to stimulate the child's imagination and thinking with this, and not just having one right answer and making it hard and difficult. It should be very easy for them to count out, oh, there's eight, and that's the same as an eight. And later on, you'll see where we have, oh, here, look, there's nine. Oh, it's also nine. It's nine. Oh, it's a three square. So again, you have multiple answers. And now we start getting into the bigger numbers. In the other workbook, it stays small longer. But now we're already moving into tens and hundreds. So here's your ten square. And look, ten square, hundred. 100. You know, it's not a thousand, it's not a ten, so they have three chances to get the answer right. And um, maybe they only get one of them. What if they only pick that one? And you could talk about, well, what about this one? And of course, there it is spelled out. And there's 90 plus 10, uh, 100. Right? Okay. Like I said, I think you'll have a fun time with these, with your sons or daughters, or sons and daughters. Uh, print them out and play with your children. All right, there is uh, now the next step already. We're into thousands. So uh, I like that answer. Thousand plus nothing. Uh, One thousand. Uh, let's see here. Um, well, look, there's a thousand again. But it's right, still a thousand. It's the same as that one. Um, a 30 square and a 10 square. Um, it's not just 900, though, is it? And look, 10 to the third. Ooh, snuck that one in there. All right, so here's this again, multiple choices that are correct. Um, see, there, 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 there. And then if you look through, you may find that there's one in here. That's a trick question, just one. But all the rest of them have correct answers. And, and as you can see, more than one correct answer. And these are fun right here because... Um, some of these you can reshape, and you'll see that um, it can't be 12 by 12, but can it be 11 by 13? Well, let's see here. It certainly can. And how much is 11 by 13? Oh, 1, 4, 3. Um, but if you use your imagination, you can put those three there, one there, and those three right there, and you can see it would be 11 by 13. 
and just more fun. And then we start getting into more complicated ones. Oh, look, here's thousands, here's hundreds. And then you have to count them all up. And then pretty soon you'll see, look, we're only on page 18. There's a hundred problems here. 25 pages, four problems a page. And now you can see, I don't know if this is gonna work out or not. We'll find out as you guys use them, but this needs to be bigger because um, it's pretty small for, well, depending on how big the page, when you print it out, um, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be large enough for your children to write the numbers down uh, in the spaces. And if not, just make space. You can write it over here or someplace else where they could uh, put it in there. Or if you have it on cheap projectors, um, you can use dry erase or wet erase markers on a sheet projector. But anyway, um, so we're counting out. Well, there's 113, 113, and 112. How much do you have? Well, 225. There's the right answer. Let's see if they can write it out. And it gets bigger and funner, because bigger is funner. Oh, look, thousands. So over here we have 1,121, 1,231. And when we add them together, um, you can see, uh, let's see here. Oh, and could you reshape these? And at last, we have zero. Zilp, zitch, nada, right? <laughs> That's your last problem. So technically, there's only 99 when you get down to it. And here you can see um, where you have four of these and four of these. They uh, can put the digits in, and I don't think you're going to be able to fit them in on this one, but we were trying to make it so that you could fit it in and write it out. Um, I think what we ought to do, now that I look at these, is move these up and move this down so that it, it'll fit because there's no way your child's going to be able to fit those in there. So um, I'll get that minor change made and we'll put this all up here and then we'll put these down here and it'll be fine in format. These ones will be fine and this one I think we're going to move down a little bit too. Um, but yeah, it was just a matter of fitting everything in. It gets difficult on the page when we wanted to make it um, four at a time instead of um, just having one or two problems on a page because then you wind up with you know a 30 page, 40, 50 page workbook. And um, I think you've seen with some of the Mortensen books where you know they only have one or two problems a page. It's, I think it's better to have um, more problems per page. But the problem is that um, these thousands um, don't fit very well. But yeah, I think we're gonna have to change the format right there where these guys go up and this goes down uh, here. And then we may need to make all of these just a little bit bigger. So, because these are made for little fingers whose fingers may not be so dexterous when it comes to writing. But here's the thing, if they write neatly, it'll fit. But the idea is um, their ability to work a pencil does not reflect their intelligence or their understanding of the mathematics. Anyway, there it is. Um, there's another one coming out here shortly. Um, they were supposed to be bright, powerful, and fun and have lots of answers. And they're supposed to be super easy, nothing frustrating about it. Um, and you'll be able to get this here very, very shortly. If you want to send me uh, some PayPal, I'll send you this, and if you want amazing add-ins, I'll send you amazing add-ins too. And then there'll be another one of these um, coming out shortly, and then there should be um, several more coming out after I'm finished with these uh, the add-ins Then we have to do. <laughs> There's so much to do. Multiplication and algebra and so forth. But anyway, here is the Wildly Wondrous Workbook full of... Uh, what is it? Full of... Wait, wait, we got to go up. There it is. Um, yeah, wonderful workbooks full of practical practice and easy exercises. 
none of these should be hard or scary because all they're doing is counting and having fun. Anyway, um, available now. All right, so now I have to figure out how to clip this. <laughs> and I think we just go over here and stop the screen. There you go. We're going to stop the share. So anyway, um, I've been working on these. There's more coming because this is addition. There's multiplication still needs to be done. There's fractions. There's algebra. There's so much more to do. Um, percentages and, 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 and. We'll see what happens next. But anyway, um, if you would like one of these, uh, it's on sale now. And uh, the early birds, you will get it for a cheaper price. And then I'm going to move the price up a little bit. Uh, not too much, but a little bit more for these. And then it turns out, as I've been doing research on the internet, you can get these printed out for like 8 to $10 from um, various places on the internet. And they'll bind them for you and everything for like 10 bucks. You send them the PDF, and they'll send you back um, a finished product. You uh, can do it yourself also, where I've had lots of people where they just print them out. And then um, some people actually even laminate them and uh, others just print out the sheets and then put them in sheet protectors um, however you want to do it and then put it in a three ring binder but um, they're more effective and more fun when you print them out and don't just have them on a tablet or on a computer screen but um, you can still just uh, take a tablet and talk with your sons and daughters and these are designed for oh what are you going to say four five six is the idea um little children not they don't need to be older they're these are designed for the um six and under crowd and um actually even younger than that three or four can also do these uh, as long as they have some help and you can just talk about it. and they can just point which is which one does this get it gets that one simple as that and you can explain why that isn't because a four square is would be 16. Um, and that this is the word for these, right? Anyway, put down RamonesHouseMath.com for more. I haven't even built pages for this yet, but it's coming. And, um, again, passwords will change <laughs> eventually. We're halfway through the year already. I don't know what happened because, uh, 2024 started a couple of weeks ago and now it seems to be six months have gone by. Yeah, some kind of time warp is going on. Anyhow, um... I hope you enjoy these and spend time with your children talking about math and numbers and making it a fun experience. That's the idea.